What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, how you doing? You see the pretty face again? So, uh, this is Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Well, nah. Hold on, hold on. Somebody's pushing me to let him come in there. Hold on. Hold on, man. Come on. Get your arm rush to show here, bro. Come on, come on in. This is Good Luck Jonathan, brothers, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, President of Nigeria. And he's wondering the same thing I'm wondering. How long? And well, first of all, look, we're going to talk about this. So he's wondering and I'm wondering because it's about to hit the fan and it's over this. It's the Constitution. First off, I want to say Happy New Year to the rest of you, to you and yours, to your family. Nothing but good tidings and great joy. But today we're going to talk about something. We're going to talk about the Constitution and executive orders. 2016 is the year of executive orders. Every every last term of the president, of every presidency, they they make all they sign all these executive orders, or, or say Congress couldn't agree on something, they they just override it and sign it, or say they want to bail out a couple of their buddies from prison or, or jail or whatever their political buddies, they they you know give them clemency. But 2016 is the only year where they go after all. They're trying to, they're quote unquote, starting with the guns. And they're starting with the easiest one because guns just sort of fell off the map because Obama really hasn't touched them. If, if you, and then people don't get mad at you for saying this. But if you look at the history of his presence, excuse me, his presidency, he hasn't really touched guns like you would think he has. Sales have been up sharply because people have been waiting for this, uh, for this day, so to speak. And uh, he, 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 so far, now this is so far, he just, I mean, from what I've seen about, the, he, I mean, he shouldn't be touching guns, that's just my opinion, but what he's done isn't really a grievous, but it's going to turn out that it's going to be, because I don't think he's done, that's just my well, my opinion. If he's done right now, then if it's, if it's all about the mental aspect, I'm cool with that, but I don't think the dude's done with this. I think he's going to start signing more executive orders. You know, he's going to restrict more weapons, which me personally, I don't see, you're in America, you, why are you going to trample all on our Second Amendment right? Well, the Second Amendment doesn't give you right to shoot up stuff. We'll go after the people who are doing that. Don't go after the people who, who had guns law abiding in their lives and never went ape shit in their life. All of a sudden, now you want to go after them. Then you wonder why that these, there's people out in Oregon protesting you. The fact of the matter is, every president has done this, but I think Obama is going to go to the extra mile on executive orders. You know, but he has an extra order, about, but he's not opening the executive orders about inquiries about, you know, killing unarmed black kids. I'm just saying. The fact of the matter remains is, you would be shocked and surprised what was and what is considered to be an executive order. And all executive orders is an override. It's like a, it's it's basically it's a, it's overriding the Constitution. It just depends on what president is in charge and uh, what what their his or her agenda is. But uh, Reagan had some had, Reagan had some boners too. So let's not see. And that's, that's the problem. People are going to start comparing Obama to Reagan, which they are similar. But there are no difference. There's no difference between me and Obama. To me, there's no difference between Obama and Reagan. So one was a Republican, one was a Democrat. Reagan is an Obama. I mean, Obama is a Reagan Democrat, pure and simple. So please don't let that argument escape you. Because let's face it, Reagan raised taxes on the middle class 11 times. No matter how many excuses you, you give me, you cannot com say he didn't do it. But I'm going to show you something coming up in about a few seconds. Let me get it together real quick. You'll be shocked that this was an executive order. This was during the 40s. And this was the early 40s at that. What I'm about to show you is right now. This is uh, instructions to all persons of Japanese ancestry. Now this is this is during World War the Deuce, World War Two. This is when they were about rounding rounding people up, putting them in internment camps, stuff like this. Was America, folks? This was an executive order. This is why I tell you people that your president can sign an executive order to have white, black, brown, red, yellow, anybody can be put in a FEMA camp. 
It's not hard to make do this. And it'll be accepted if they give the right reason to the to the schmucks there pulling the poll numbers. This was another travesty in American quote unquote justice. Where they rounded up the Japanese folks, Japanese Americans, and put them in internment camps. So listen, let's, let's let's remember what the, the, the how how to go far. I mean, when does an executive order go too far? I think it went definitely way too far in that. I think it definitely went went way too far on guns. Well, it's going to go far on guns. I think he's just licking his chops in the beginning. And what it is is he's looking for excuses to use. Now back to the topic at hand. 2006. I mean, I thought 2016. I think around they're going to be they're going to be free speech. They're going. They're definitely going after free speech, and they're not going to go after the big name news organizations. They're going to go after like if you notice nowadays with the with the with the, with the pop up of the of the how can I put this of the how can I put it that it's kind of palatable to your taste with the rise of the mom and pop you know news organizations or mom and pop you know news makers. You know, everybody wants to stream the news and, 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 and with the YouTubes and with the uh, Vimeos and with the, all these outlets now you have on the internet, the government now has has to have more eyes watching you. And here's what I think is going to happen. If you see a sharp rise in hiring law enforcement, especially in a lot of your cities that are like low in crime, they're going to start cracking down on free speech, which they already have. They're going. To, this the crackdowns come come worse. And they're going. To, they're, right now, they're trying to turn each other on. They're trying to turn us on each other because if you look at it, the big news is race war this, race war that. Meanwhile, if you look at the economy, we're about to have a recession and we don't shout. The IMF is supposed to hold it, put a notch in it, and we're listening to them and we're putting a notch in it. Your money in the stock market is just went downhill. See what they're doing is they're they're, they're deflecting off the real problems. What it is is they're they're giving you they're they're giving you a stake. Which isn't really stake, but they don't want you to realize, you know, that we have no more stake, so they're going to give it to you. Hey, once you find out that you, you, you ran out of stake, where's the stake at? That's why you got to ask, you got to start asking questions. You can't be sitting there, well, so, well they said this. Well, of course they're going to say that because you're stupid. So, I'm just, I just did this little video to watch out because in 2016, it is the year of. The executive order. So I'm out of here. Peace. Thank you.